Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will be a general read to see what messages Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. If you're a Pisces celebrating your birthday today, happy birthday to you. A couple days left in Pisces season for this solar year. Spirit, please connect with the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel, their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and high vibrational energy to get the messages Pisces needs at the, at the time they watch this video. Here we go, Pisces. Let's see what we can get for you today. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? So we have the Page of Cups, maybe a message of forgiveness, an audition showing your skills and talents, or even an emotional message. It can even be um, referring to a younger person as well. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Pisces? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know at the time they watch this video, please? Then we have the Nine of Wands coming up. The Nine of Wands seems to be coming up a lot for you lately, Pisces. Kind of going through that struggle. The struggle is real. What else do you want Pisces to know, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces? Okay, hold on, guys. So then we have the Queen of Cups. So, you know, Pisces energy, feminine water energy. The Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, reciprocity, um, even being more generous. And then we have the Four of Swords here, which is, you know, taking a rest, taking time to meditate, taking time to recover as well. So Pisces, what we're seeing here is, you know, you may have a message coming through, some type of opportunity um, after you've been through a, a difficult time. Um, and here, it'll give you an opportunity to be in a position of increased comfort and relaxation. Let's get clarification for this for you, Pisces. Spirit, please clarify this message for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know? What is this page of cups, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this page of cups? What is this page of cups for Pisces? Well, we have a three of swords. So this could definitely be an apology coming through Pisces. You know, somebody understands um, or knows they need to right a wrong with you, you know, or you could, you know, be desiring this apology. Let me get one more card, please, Spirit. One more card for this Page of Cups. One more card for this Page of Cups, please, Spirit. One more card to clarify this Page of Cups. Any other cards to clarify this Page of Cups, Spirit? Maybe not. Here we go. Yeah, so it seems as though, you know, here in a situation where you had wanted to ultimately have happiness, you ended up having heartache and loss. And we have the message here of an apology, the message here of coming forward, extending the cup, um, perhaps in order to mend this broken heart or to smooth over a difficulty that has occurred. And again, it could be that you are desiring this apology because the Nine of Wands is next. What is this Nine of Wands, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this Nine of Wands? What is this Nine of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? So we're having the Three of Wands clarify the Nine of Wands here, Pisces. So it seems as though, you know, based on the fact that you've really been through it in this situation, take this as it resonates with you, whatever situation this is for you, whether it's work, relationships, personal, etc. But here, it seems as though you've really been through a difficult time for quite a while. And you're really at the point here, at the edge, saying, you know, I want something better for myself. I want to move out of this perpetual state of um, struggle. I want to move out of this place of being worn down, tired, and kind of just you know, going through it continually. Then, And it's notable that the nine of wands and the three of wands is 12 and 12 is three. So here we have together that it seems as though the only action you're able to do right now is to, you know, decide to move forward. What is this queen of cups, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this queen of cups? What do you want Pisces to know about this queen of cups, please? 
Well, you want Pisces to thank you. And we have the lover's card. So this could um, be two things I got is, you know, this could definitely be speaking to a love relationship and or a choice. But, you know, this can also be choosing you, Pisces. You know, and this is the stronger message I'm getting right now and what I'm feeling more strongly is the, the decision to choose you. You know, here, you've been through difficulty. You, you were in a situation where you hoped for the best. Um, maybe you were hoping somebody would extend their cup. You certainly extended your cup in order to have this happiness and coming together in emotional fulfillment. However, it ended up in heartache and loss. And no matter how hard you tried, um, it was a struggle, a continuous struggle. So the only thing to do now is to move forward. And here, Pisces, you know, we have encouragement to choose yourself. And what is the Six of Pentacles, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about the Six of Pentacles? Okay, this is going to be too many. Well, hold on. Okay, we're going to take them. It's a lot, but we'll just get through it. So for the Six of Pentacles, we have, and Spirit just told me the balancing out. We have a new beginning here, Pisces. And in this stack here, we also have a new beginning. So as you choose yourself, Pisces, and balance out the aspects of your life, you're, you're you know, want to see, and we have the Six of Pentacles again here as well. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Moon, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. So this is definitely forward-looking, right? Both the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands are forward-looking. Um, in the middle of them, we have the Six of Pentacles again here. Um, but what we're seeing is, you know, you're wanting to have this new stable beginning, even though there may not be... You may not be able to see the entire picture, but nonetheless, to, you know, be in your power, be in your confidence and work to balance out your life and take those initial steps forward to do so. Let's go on to the next message for this Six of Pentacles. Um, and then we have um, understanding Pisces that, you know, you have, in fact, um, suffered some type of difficulty here and give yourself the time and the proper respect to grieve the loss but understand that that is a moment in time not a place for you to remain um and use your intuition you know to help not only heal yourself but in order to move forward to your new beginning you know so here you're not staying stuck in the state of perpetual sadness and perpetual loss and disappointment but instead seeing the higher point of view the seeing what is not seen here we have the moon which is showing that you might not see every aspect of how you know everything is going to come into balance and you know partly because of that you could be very sad and just dis discouraged disappointed but here spirit is advising call upon your intuition see what is unseen tap into the unknown and you will be able to you know draw near to your new beginning let's continue and what is this Four of Swords, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this Four of Swords? What is this Four of Swords for Pisces? Oops, hold on, guys. Open the cards. What is this Four of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want them to know about the Four of Swords? So we're having the Nine of Pentacles. Any other cards for this Four of Swords, please, Spirit? Any other cards for this Four of Swords? Okay. So Pisces, understand that this difficult process you've been going through, this difficult situation, it's included heartache and loss. It's it's included feeling, you know, being up and broken down, really just tired and um, just run down, you know, like you just need a break. Then we have, you know, coming out of the darkness, so to speak, not seeing a way necessarily, having feelings of sadness, disappointment, loss, maybe even regret. Um, and then Spirit says, you know, you will find your way out, Pisces. You know, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. After this difficulty, after choosing yourself here with this um, Queen of Cups and the Lovers, choose yourself, take the time to figure out, tap in, tune in, to see how to move forward in a new balanced way, to raise yourself up. Um, understanding, though, that part of this process is going to take, it's going to not only take time and patience, 
but it's going to also require healing for you to come back into your self-reliance and independence and to that place where, you know, you're financially prosperous again, you're financially comfortable again. You know, basically this Nine of Pentacles is that restoration from coming from the Nine of Wands. You're, re re you're having the rest, you're having a restoration and you're transforming yourself into this Nine of Pentacles. So let's get some oracle message for you Pisces. Spirit, one oracle message for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please. One overall message for this reading for Pisces. Thank you. And we have temptation. So this is definitely that devil toxic energy, you know, could very well be tied to that three of swords and that nine of wands, whatever has been burning in you, keeping you down, holding you down, tempting you, you know, even if it's your own behaviors, addictions, people around you, situations around you, whatever has been holding you down and holding you back. Um, please do be mindful of that because that could play very strongly into what is going on in this situation. Spirit, one oracle card for Pisces for this reading, please. One oracle card for Pisces for this reading, please. One oracle card for Pisces for this reading, please. Thank you. And here, Pisces, we have divination. Take a breath, take it twice. Insightful reflections are guiding by light. And we also have the high priestess here and the high priestess is a card of Pisces and Pisces are very in tune and have many psychic gifts. So this is again, calling on you to, you know, tap into your intuition. Some of you may, you know, have spiritual gifts or, you know, do tarot yourself. So you may be seeking that as a way to see more clearly into the situation as well spirit um one oracle card from this deck please one oracle message from this deck please spirit lighthouse don't doubt your wor worth so seriously pisces you know you could be beaten down and feeling a little bit even broken um and you could be stuck in a place of despondency um and just really be feeling wow, that you're not enough. But here it says, I am enough. So tell yourself that even right now, I am enough. Like literally say it to yourself, Pisces. I am enough. So just remember, you know, keep your strength. Feast, slow down and celebrate yourself. Pisces, just as we were seeing here with the four of swords, you know, take that time to rest and recover. And as we were seeing in this lovers and queen of cups, choose you, Pisces. It's okay to choose you, Pisces. Understand very keenly these words. This is your life. It doesn't say this is, you know, John Doe's life. This is Jane Doe's life. No, no, Pisces. This is your life. So slow down and celebrate yourself. Choose yourself. Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. And here, you know, it's important to give... Um, notation and acknowledgement to the battles you have been through to the difficulties you have been through and survived but not only have you survived them you know you have lived to continue on you have lived to thrive pisces even if that's not necessarily where you are today some of you could have already gone through it and are thriving and wonderful for that amen right um, but for others of you, you know, keep going, you know, you, it might seem like you're in a dark time now, but you know, you're not meant to stay there. Spirit, one card for angel answers for this reading, please. One angel answers for this reading, please. One angel answers for this reading, please, spirit. <laughs> I just heard the song lyrics. I get knocked down, but I get up again. perfect timing. So understand things are going to unfold in perfect timing. If you try to rush, rushing is resistance to the natural unfolding of divine plan. Um, here, Spirit is encouraging you um, to, even though you may, may not see, sorry, you may not see some of the, um, the way out or the way forward right now, understand that you know taking that time taking that care for yourself and not staying in the place of darkness is 
you know, going to help you to move forward to the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. You know, don't forget to celebrate yourself. You are always enough. And even if you get knocked down, you will get up again, Pisces. This is the message I have for you. I hope it helps. God bless.